what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel um so today i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this okay so let's get started i already have my clip here so i'm gonna just gonna drag this here okay the next thing we have to do is um track the um eyes face or whoever you're using come over here and select the round ellipse tool and then select a circle around its face I think this should be good enough make sure this is at the um, sorry the beginning of the clip okay okay I think it should be enough um, select the video layer and then press M on your keyboard M on your keyboard and then turn on the max bat stopwatch and follow every movement every of his movement you might also want to expand your um max part so you can easily do your tracking okay your face tracking okay now so it's done tracking and we've got this you can see it i actually did the tracking manual okay yeah, so the next thing we have to do is to apply the 3d camera tracker come over to your effect and then type on 3d camera tracker camera and we've got this so we should allow this to track and we'll be back okay now so it's uh, actually done tracking you can see this um, um stuff actually on his face i should play this take his front and you can actually see tracker on all all part of his face so we're actually going to be taking the part where um you actually need to be creating some 3d stuff on his face so I um, actually need to make sure it stores the part where it's actually facing straight. So let's look for a good look for a good spot. Okay, I think this should be it. Um, I think if I should turn off the, you can actually see it's actually looking straight to the camera. So I should look for a straight one here. Um, actually, select this off. Just right click and then create solid solid on camera so um, let's rotate this to this is straight make it straight sorry uh -huh. okay take this straight and then turn over I think this should be straight Thing is straight now. I should scale this up. I think it's a little bit bent, so let's just rotate this again a little bit. So, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, this is good. I should scale this a little bit again. Now, come over to your effect and then type out grid. Sorry. Like this under generator, like this grid, and then if you should play this now, this is what you get. Okay, here you go. You can see the grid is actually following his face from um, left and right, even when he's actually facing sideways. So now let's move on to the next phase by adding a 3D object to his face. Okay, so now I'm going to be leaving a link at the description for you to download the 3D object, the 3D helmet I'm actually going to be using for this video. So um, let's go create, all right, click and then create new and then solid. And let's just name this um elements. We're actually gonna be adding element 3D. Element 3D is a 3D um plugin for um after effect for you to actually access some 3D stuff. So come over to your effect again and then type out element. Double click on this, make sure you select the element layer. Okay, now come over to scene setup. Okay, it's an environment. Click on import. Okay, I think it should be here. Iron Man helmet. Okay, you can see the uh, Iron Man helmet OBJ file. Make sure it's OBJ, okay? Double click. Click. Okay, click OK. And then I think you got something like this.
so now click on okay okay now okay so I actually click okay from the scenes menu and you can see the 3d object it's actually just moving like it's not actually on space you just pan around the scene so let's um make this accurate okay so let's take it back to where it's actually facing the camera still I should take it I think to this part where it's actually straight okay now come over to your okay come over to your um, group one and then create group null then click on create okay so you got this press P on your keyboard under the position of the group one and then come over to this and track solution which is the actually the grid layer now press P copy the position press ctrl C and then paste on the null position okay you should get something like this okay not to worry so um, press uh, S on your group null and then increase the scale to of that uh, I think that of the helmet you can also do this inside elements uh, okay but I'm actually just doing this here so this should actually fit so let's to make this big big and big you can also adjust this okay just this up a little bit and go <coughs> okay so now I got it so let me play this now so we can see a review of this okay so now um, this is done I just finished scaling this up so this is how it looks like okay but you can see <coughs> this is not actually accurate okay you can see if I take it to this part now um, where's the part his head is actually showing you so we still need to scale this up a little bit scale this scale and then take this back position this is on position sorry that's not that let's just take this back back shoot back just to go back a little bit and while I'm moving back you see I have to scale this again so it covers the points scale it towards the side just in case this happened, it doesn't mean it's gone, it's still there. Okay, we got something like this. Okay, so now uh, it might still also be looking this way. So, another way, uh, we don't have to bother about that now. So, the next thing we should be looking for is how to fix this now. Check it to the part where actually the camera is actually still. As in you face to face with the camera if I should turn this off now the element layer you can see this is actually the part where it's actually facing the camera okay so if I should, if I should fix this work on this now so click on the element layer and then press T to reduce your opacity so you can see what you're actually doing I think um, 50 should be good enough okay 59 let's see, increase this way. okay 80 should be uh, let's take it down to 76 should be good enough okay so press p on go over to the null layer press p move the position a little bit to the left just to i'm just trying to adjust this so it fits to this face okay to here i think this should go up a little bit i'm just making sure this actually fits to his face okay okay think this should be it sorry okay so now um, press on arrow on your keyboard turn all this on make sure it's on the part where his face is actually straight then press P on your keyboard also turn it on press S which is a scale turn it on and then um, press U to check every keyframe we've made position scale orientation and that has to do with rotation so now we are actually going to be doing this manually okay so to make sure this actually fits to his face while it moves so I'm taking this back a little bit okay it's still on his face still at the front of the screen 
so keep going okay this is the part where it actually turns back so i'm actually going to scale this up scale this up and then take this back from the position take this back sorry i only get this error a lot why try to position this you have to be okay so scale this a little bit and rotate i think we should have to rotate this rotate a little bit to the y so it follows okay what i'm just trying to do just to make sure this actually pave into his head actually fits everything so back a little bit okay cover so it covers his face so you don't actually see his face okay so uh let me take this again why it goes back to make sure it's actually covering his face it's actually moving a little bit out of his face so we should take this a little bit on sorry if my elements actually doing this because my graphic i don't actually have a graphics card okay now to this other part where it's actually facing this other side if i should reduce if i should increase the opacity of this you actually going to see this okay sorry i mean to the element layer you're actually going to see this you actually see it's facing the wrong way so you have to still um rotate that okay back to the y axis axis and then rotate this back again so i'm actually going to be doing this um because if i'm actually going to be recording this while i'm doing this it's actually going to take a lot of time so i'm going to pause while i or fast forward while i do this okay guys so i'm done doing the um, manual um, position scale rotations and um, mostly the positions and rotation you can actually see a, a bunch of keyframes out here which i actually manually did this so you can see from which i reduce the opacity you can see it's actually following the face movement mine is actually um perfect okay so i urge you guys to make something cool okay so i'm just actually doing this for the sake of tutorial so you guys can actually see what i was doing so um if i should increase the opacity back uh, to of the element layer so you can see what's what happening you can see this you can see you can see everything okay so now um let's move on to the next phase of um this and then actually on reflections and actually on reflections okay so go over to your video layer okay press m on your keyboard and delete the max part out so you can see your full video and then go over to the uh, max layer and then shut this down okay so now go uh, select your element layer and then go back to scene setup so now on zoom so you can see this so now um, come over to your uh, layer the yellow color to so make this very shiny come over to I think environment no not this for now go over to physical on materials go over to physical and then you can see a bunch of materials out here okay for the yellow use this um gold you can see now the hem is actually shiny and then for the red it's actually look blue here use this red paint okay now everything looks shiny okay now for the environment um, for the environment come over to environment and use uh, come over to this basic 24 slide down down and then select this roof roof okay this should do okay you can see it now looks shiny and like that okay let's move on okay now it should look something like this oh, sorry about that okay you can see it now has a different look okay everything now looks shiny bust rhyme everything looks dope on this okay so here we go actually looking shiny in the silver color um, deck so um let's say i want to add some extra stuff like that uh, actual black stuff you actually saw on the video so let's just say i want to add some of this so i'm just going to come over to this part and then on the motion design i actually got this from elementary website um i think a long time ago 
uh, come up with components and then let's just add, I just I won't be doing much I'm just gonna be adding with just one of this okay this take this a little bit to the left I'm not actually gonna be making this to too just to ease a lot of stuff anyway okay let me just rotate it this way I think this way should be good so you can actually see it's actually making a rotation then right click on this and then go over to auxiliary animation and then select channel one click OK okay yeah you can actually see this here so if it moves it actually moves with it because somehow parents into the head like the 3d track everything is actually parented okay so now uh, let's make this rotate okay come over to come over to your um, group come over to your group one um, auxiliary channel remember we said that everything was in under channel one so we have different channels here so channel one and it's under rotation and rotation i think this should be the first one so you can actually see this it's making it rotate so to make it spin all you have to do is press alt on your keyboard and then select this stopwatch and then press this on your keyboard time press shift and star and then negative you can um negative depending on where you want it to rotate negative i think 400 should be enough so this should be happening you can actually see this okay here now so there you go you can see everything working fine and although this is not actually cool because i'm not actually having a shadow of this you can actually check online i i don't actually have to do the shadow okay i actually can't do the shadow because my system is actually not that big enough to render this um, stuff um you know i would like to show you guys how to make shadows underneath this but uh, you know i hope you guys actually like this tutorial if it was actually helpful give it a big thumbs up and don't also forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and um peace out see you guys next time check the link below for more videos okay